from 2016. Tragedy as a young actor is killed by a freak accident. Anton Yelchin, who played Chekhov in the reboot of Star Trek franchise, had had a drive away with a steep gradient access to the road. He apparently was outside the vehicle and it rolled, pinning him against a concrete letterbox. He had had a big future. Thanks to the excellent political acumen of dry cleaner to the stars JFO, we have a working list for Senate voting in Victoria. Darren Hinch's Justice Party, Liberal Democrats, Family First, Shooters and Fishers, and Nationals for the Senate. We don't have a list for the House of Representatives, but my tip is to vote LNP, as it is as essential that they retain government. Of course, there's a long view theory that says it might be better for Australia if the Australian and Labour Party win the election and Malcolm Turnbull is removed as LNP leader. Turnbull is that bad, but the short-term cost of ALP is substantial. One ALP advert has it that there is over $130 billion in spending policy differences between the two parties. The ALP claim they will recoup the difference in higher taxes. They promised to pork barrel money into education without improving education. They despise important infrastructure projects. The ALP are still toying with drowning migrants and calling it compassionate. It isn't compassionate when Eddie Maguire jokes about it. It isn't compassionate when the Australian Labour Party perpetrate terrible border laws which result in it. If the Australian Labour Party wins and Turnbull is removed as leader from the Liberal National Party, it might be good for the long term. But in the short term, Australia will be much poorer, and people are likely to die as a result. Workers, migrants, and soldiers. For some, at the moment, the sex party has more credibility.